There is an end in sight to the pandemic as COVID-19 vaccines are now widely available, which means things are starting to look different. And we're faced with more daily decisions like, should I wear my mask to the park? Am I socially distanced enough? Do I take that trip? Do I go to that wedding? And what about gyms? Well, Dr. David Johnson from the MultiCare Behavioral Health Foundation is here to help us with ways to manage all the change in our lives right now and how to support each other too through all of this. Good morning, Dr. Johnson and thanks so much for being here with us. Thank you so much for having me, Kayla. All right, well, first off, it feels like things are always changing through the past year. I think we're all kind of used to that at this point. And we're in a constant state of adjustment through all of it. And I'm hearing people say that they're just mentally exhausted. So as a mental health counselor, what is your advice for managing through the constant change we're experiencing? You know, I have to say I'm hearing from every direction that people are fed up, they're tired, they're grieving. It's been a tremendously difficult time, but this pandemic is going to take a while longer to wind down. We also have to anticipate that we're going to take our uh, pandemic survival skill sets that we've developed, and we're going to need those to be part of our permanent skill set. And we will take them out again and again from time to time in the future as more pandemics happen. So. Good news on the horizon, but we also need to be cautious about that. I think the first thing to do is to very carefully assess your feelings and from time to time, notice what you're feeling. And after you've acknowledged how you're feeling, you have a choice. You can go into that feeling, you can explore it more, you can try and work it out. Or once you've acknowledged the feeling, it's not denial to then put your attention and your focus elsewhere. And that might be a better thing to do from time to time. And you might think about what's the one thing I can do in the next hour or by the end of the day that will make my situation better. And so we, we just need to keep in mind that uh, we have a choice about either being defeated by this or by being challenged to become our better selves and to deal with this. So, you know, as things are starting to kind of open up, get a little bit back to normal, there's people that are doing things sooner than others. Things can get a little bit uncomfortable. And it's one thing to say something if someone at a grocery store is a little bit too close. But how do we navigate things with family and friends sharing with them? Hey, that that makes me uncomfortable. You know, it is good news. Some of the changes that are happening and some of what science is now revealing is OK to do. For instance, isn't it great news that uh, if I'm fully vaccinated, and I am, I can go for a walk by myself if I maintain my distance from others who may not be vaccinated. That's a good opportunity. But we have to acknowledge that these changes are going to happen slowly, and we're going to have to go step by step by step in uh, adjusting to them. So the first thing to do is when you're communicating with somebody you're going to spend time with, very openly set some ground rules ahead of time that you can both agree on. Um, will we wear masks indoors, but eat outdoors? Um, are we going to be with a group of people who are all vaccinated? So perhaps in a limited number, we can be indoors without masks. You need to negotiate uh, and be patient. I think that's a really great tip, kind of laying things out beforehand so we don't have to worry about the awkwardness of it all. And, you know, we are in this kind of strange space where some people are starting to feel like the pandemic's ending, but honestly, it's not quite over yet. There's still a lot of people that are going through grief, people that have lost a lot through this process. And you say it's important to stay sensitive. Can you explain that? You know, we have to acknowledge how profound the losses have been. Many of us have lost loved ones or colleagues or friends to COVID-19 death. Uh, some of us have lost our job. Some have lost health insurance. Some have even lost a home. And every single one of us has lost opportunities that will never come back in quite the same way again. For example, we may have lost opportunities for career advancement or lost opportunities for travel. Uh, grief has no timeline and it's been 15 months of this slog and it's going to be longer and so we have to acknowledge that grief is part of our reality these days and as with all feelings we need to acknowledge it we need to recognize it and then we need to decide is this a time when i'm going to dive into that grief a little bit really feel all of it uh, and lament what i have lost or 
is just acknowledging the grief enough for right now. And I'm going to focus my attention on positive things that I can do with today rather than grieving what's not possible today. I think that's a great ending note there, focusing on what's positive, you know, moving forward from this. So thank you so much, Dr. David Johnson from MultiCare Behavioral Health Foundation. We appreciate you so much for being here with us. I appreciate your having me, Kayla. Awesome. We'll be right back.